Hey, North Coast. Happy New Year. My name is Rob Morais. I'm the high school pastor at our San Marcos Escondido campus, and I get to be with you this morning for the Daily Dose. Uh, it's that time of year again, New Year's resolutions, a time where we look at our lives, look at this upcoming year, ask ourselves that question, what do we want to do better? How do we want to be better? And I don't know about you, but in years past, um, this is just a time of failure for me. It's a time of making a commitment and then breaking that commitment fairly quickly. And 2019 was probably the first year of my life uh, where I had made a commitment to myself and I actually kept it through an entire year. Uh, For me, it's so cool to be in January and to look back on an entire year of pursuing something and going, man, you did it. And for me, there was just really one thing that stood out. Uh, last year, I, I made a commitment to myself that I wanted to, to pursue health. Um, I had gotten to a point in my life where I was really tired. Um, I wasn't feeling very good, wasn't feeling very good about myself. And so I lost 30 pounds in 2019. And as I look back on this year or this last year, uh, the one thing that stood out to me was community. Um, I think as I look back on years of past and making commitments when it comes to scripture, or when it comes to relationships, or when it comes to health, the, the five other times that I've wanted to lose weight or do something better with my life, um, I look back and, and a lot of those things I did alone. A lot of people didn't know my commitment, they didn't know my goal, they didn't know what I wanted to go through. And 2019 was the first year that I can really look back on and go, I didn't do it alone. I had people next to me, I had people striving for the same goal. And I don't know what this year looks like for you. I don't know what you want. I don't know if it's spiritual. I don't know if it's relational. I don't know if it's physical. Um, But I know that all of us have things in our lives that we look at that we want to change, we want to do better. Um, And my challenge for you this year is don't do it by yourself. My mind goes to Acts chapter 2, and this is definitely on the spiritual side of things, but it's after Jesus ascending into heaven. It's um, the Holy Spirit coming down. It's the disciples. It's it's, it's the people coming together. And in Acts chapter 2, verse 42, it says that they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship. Everyone um, was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who was in need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temples. They broke bread in their homes. They ate together, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Uh, Life change is infectious. Uh, Wanting to change something is infectious. And when you can get people together who have a common goal, who want to pursue something together, uh, it's more powerful. And you end up doing it because you have people alongside of you who have that same common goal. So like I said, I don't know what that is for you this year. I don't know what your hopes and your dreams are, but my challenge would be don't do it by yourself. I hope you have a good day, North Coast.